ADHD symptoms can impact your ability to focus optimally and meet your potential at work or school. That does not mean, however, you can't be successful. The more you know about how your brain works, the more you can control how well you do. Finding the right type of learning environment or workplace, and perhaps more importantly, identifying topics or types of work that engage your brain are essential for optimizing your strengths and talents. Perhaps you're a surgeon who can't keep up with your paperwork, or a writer who can't write until the last minute, or a CEO who struggles without the support of an administrative assistant. Usually, when ADHD is untreated, work or school is one of the first areas to be affected. In many cases, the issue is one of imbalance, where the coping mechanisms you need to do well in one area create problems in another. Perhaps you excel at your job, but it comes at a cost, negatively impacting other areas of your life. ADHD doesn't mean you can't focus, it means that you struggle with regulating your focus. This is an important distinction. When it comes to work or school, maintaining focus can feel unpredictable. When will I be able to engage and get this done? When will my brain inevitably let me down? Think beyond whether you have a focusing problem. Instead, explore specifically what blocks you. Maybe it feels like your brain gives up before you even start. Or knowing a big task is coming up sets off your anxiety. What is your inner dialogue when trying to get a task done? The more you understand what helps or hinders your focus in daily tasks, the easier it will be to find solutions. Learning how to trust your brain will do what you need it to do when you need it to do it takes a lot of trial, error, and creative thinking. Group projects can be pretty insufferable for everyone, but for people with ADHD, they are especially bad. This is because it's difficult for us to break tasks down into smaller chunks, and also because we're so deadline-driven that we're used to just doing everything in one final swoop. But the ability to work as a member of a team, as well as effectively delegate tasks, is important for pretty much any career you choose. Delegation requires a lot of planning. You must understand how you want the project to look and give team members adequate notice and building blocks to succeed independently. Delegation should be about harnessing, building, and using people's skill sets, not having your team help you do the job you should have done before it was last minute. To help set you and your team up for success, investigate what symptoms impact your ability to stay organized. Techniques like mini deadlines with team accountability can optimize productivity. I've always been the type of person to start assignments at the very last minute. I was waiting for that crippling anxiety of the impending deadline to propel me into action. But this strategy comes at a cost. Not only does it cause unnecessary stress and anxiety, but you may be left asking yourself, if I started earlier, could I have done a better job? If you're always waiting for that burst of neurotransmitters because a deadline is looming, you and your brain have created a pattern where you don't feel like you can start until you get that burst. But thanks to neuroplasticity, we can get out of this cycle. Individuals with ADHD often struggle with administrative tasks like getting groceries and renewing their license. When you're behind on parking tickets and taxes, it's not only stressful but can have long-term consequences. Two of the things I found helpful are asking for help early. Don't let things like credit card debt get so out of control that they require almost a heroic effort to get resolved. Also, outsource when possible. For example, set up automatic bill payments. Nowadays, we all have a huge number of administrative tasks to keep up with. Getting groceries, renewing your license, staying on track with taxes, reporting or tracking systems in your workplace. There's more administrative work and paperwork than ever before. When ADHD is in the picture, these to-dos are compounded by struggles with completing detailed steps in the right order, multitasking, and prioritizing responsibilities. It's no wonder many people with ADHD find themselves unable to stay on track with important duties and then get so far behind that it feels unmanageable. When you're behind on parking tickets, taxes, or credit card bills, it's not only stressful but can have real consequences. People with ADHD managing administrative tasks often do so with a system that doesn't work for their brain style. Trying to do things with the same linear thinking of someone who is neurotypical will set you up for failure. Outsource where possible, set up automatic bill payments, meet monthly with an organizer, or arrange for administrative support. For people with strong, consistent executive functions, making plans, being prepared, and leaving a buffer to ensure timeliness can all come easily. 
But when you have ADHD, many of the conventional systems for keeping track of time and managing priorities do not work well. Often when an individual has untreated ADHD, they've grown so accustomed to being late and arriving without the necessary materials that they're stuck living in a stressful pattern of continually rushing and letting themselves and others down. These patterns can become cyclical, cementing feelings of defensiveness and trying to explain themselves to those they've disappointed. Learning strategies like working backwards to sort out timing or building in time for error or unforeseen issues can be helpful. Outsmart yourself and anticipate that you'll be running late. When planning, don't depend on the best case scenario. These strategies don't come naturally to individuals with ADHD. It takes time and hard work to break old patterns.